for my first example, I had students cause a merge conflict and then resolve this merge conflict as we want to make sure that they were comfortable with using Git. We used to manually check to see if they caused the merge conflict and resolved it, but we later realized we could check to see if they did this. The way how we're doing this is we are having them cause the merge conflict, resolve the merge conflict, and then produce a file that we verify shows that they did this merge conflict. So you can see here by this helping message that they need to run this script before they submit to the auto grader, which will then generate this file called git.log that will contain the information that we need to then read to see if they caused the merge conflict. This auto grader is actually using this library called Gradescope Base, which is a helper library that I actually had built as an instructor and TA to help make it easier to interface with the Gradescope's uh, auto grading API without having to do a bunch of helper code or use the Gradescope utils because I found it a little bit limiting for some of the types of auto graders I liked to write. So for this auto grader, I am trying to open up this git log file. And if it doesn't exist, I'm giving the students a pretty message here that just says that they need to run this file because that is how we're verifying this test case. Then once I open up this file, I'm reading what the contents are. And all I'm checking is to see if the word merge is in there. If the word merge is in there, that means they had a merge conflict. If it is not in there, that means they definitely did not have a merge conflict. So we're going to uh, say that they failed this test case if they didn't. Since a student could just add the word merge to this log file, we're going to do a little bit more checking. Essentially, we're going to check to see if they actually did a merge between multiple different um, commits. And so that's what this code is doing. It's just saying that the line that has merge, I want to grab out the information about what was merged. And if we see that there is more than two of these IDs, aka there's more than one commit, then that means that they merged it successfully. And so we're going to return true and print that they actually passed this test case. Otherwise, we're going to say they did not pass this test case. So this is just a basic example of how you can have students execute something and do some sort of operation and then grade the results of it with an auto grader in Gradescope.